What's up guys, I'm Tyler. Today we are here at St. Paul Neighborhood Network. Uh, we're gonna talk about three-point lighting, what those lights are, what you can do with them, and how to manipulate them in your videos. So let's go. All right guys, so what you can see here, besides a very serious man for no reason, um, is basic three-point lighting in the studio. Um, this is great for shooting interviews. What you can see here is I have a light coming from my right, coming from my left, and coming from the back. All of these lights right now are at a 45 degree angle, which you are about to see once I stand up here. So now that I'm up, we can see those lights here. We have our key light, our fill light, and our back light. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep that key and fill on, but I'm gonna go over to the backlight and turn that off so we can show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna turn that backlight off, bam. So this is what it looks like when you just have your key light and your fill light. Um, so it's still a pretty good image that you have here. Um, you have that key light with the balance of the fill softening up that face, but there's no real dimension separating you from your background. Now, this time I'm gonna turn off the fill light. So I'm gonna keep the backlight off, turn off that fill light, keep the key light on, and here we go. This is a dramatic look. Um, it's great if you're shooting an interview and the mood of you know the video that you're shooting is just really either somber or serious or dark, dramatic, etc. And you're just really going for that look. You can see the shadow on the left side of my face there, but still see my skin, that triangle um, right under my eye there. Um, again, though, we still don't have that separation from the background. So now, once I get up, I'm gonna turn that key light off. Um, so right now we have all three lights off, but I'm gonna walk over to that back light and just turn that one on. Now you might ask, why would you turn the key light off and the fill light off? And this is why. Because if you're shooting an interview and the person that you are interviewing doesn't necessarily want their face shown, um, but you still want a presence on camera who is speaking so people can see a physical being on camera, um, but maybe just add some mystery as to who that person is, this is what you're gonna wanna do. Now, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna keep that backlight on and turn on that key light. And this, this is gonna be a good look. So this is what I was talking about, about, about that dramatic look, but still having the dimension from the background. Bam, right there. So, we still have that dramatic look. We have that triangle on the left side of my face, your right side, um, but we, now we have that backlight hitting, hitting me from the back giving me dimension and separation from the background while still having that dramatic look. Also great for a cinematic look. Um, so if you're shooting a short film or uh, even documentary, whatever you're shooting, you just really want like that cinematic look. Um, this is great cinematic lighting. Now, I'm gonna get back up. I'm gonna turn that fill light on and see exactly what the three point lighting all together looks like one more time. Again, we have our key light, our fill light, and our back or hair light. So there we go guys, basic three point lighting. Great for interviews, great for anything that you're shooting with a simple setup, if you have a small budget, um, if you're moving and shooting, great, easy way to set up. Doesn't take that long, but still gives you the option to manipulate your shoot the way you want it have the look that you want to have. Uh, so hopefully next time we'll deep dive into one of those looks, uh, maybe go in a little bit deeper, explore more options. And uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, and we'll see you next time.